Welcome to part 2 of how to mix and master a pop song. If you've not already seen part 1, you can go back and watch that, I'll put the link there. In this part, we'll be showing you gain staging. And what gain staging is, basically getting all the right levels for the mix before you start doing anything. Without further ado, this is part 2 of how to mix and master a pop song, gain staging. Okay, welcome back to part two, and this part is going to be about gain staging. We've already set up our mix, we've already got everything labelled, we've already got everything rooted into the, the necessary buzzes. Um, now what you can see on screen here is I've got a little mix tool open. This is just something that allows you to change the, the level, the volume of the sample or the stem, whatever it is. Um, so, at first, we don't want to change any of the faders, we want all our faders at zero. What we're going to do is gain stage every single thing one by one to a level where we think it's close enough that it only needs minor adjustments to get that nice dialed in level. Then after that, things will be pretty much close to zero and we can start adjusting things on the fly, getting a really dynamic mix in there. We can even, um, we can even assign MIDI to uh, a MIDI keyboard or something, something that has sliders or faders. So let's start with our first one, Tube Synth. As we go through, we're just um, moving the mouse wheel over the little uh, gain thing so that we can get a good level on everything. And what I'm going to do here is put my um, sliders over just one section of it that I know has got most of the elements in, just so I don't have to keep messing about going back and forth on the timeline to different sections to hear things. So let's do this attack time now. So these are the music elements. These are what make up the body of the song. There's going to be some leads in here that we're changing the level of as well. So, you've got to be forward thinking all the time with this, but you're only getting an approximation on things, so don't worry too much about getting everything perfect. <coughs> Excuse me.
So we just keep going through the drums now. Some of the names on these that I've called them are obviously completely wrong. This shuff here is a, sh a shaker, but I always call a shaker a shuff. I'm not sure why. Okay, that's everything roughly around the right volume now. So I'm just going to collapse all these. And that's gain staging. Now you might be asking, why do that? Why not just move the faders? Well, some of the sounds that are used are naturally at a louder level whether it be because I wanted them loud when I was using them in the MPC whether it be because when I've exported them I've not adjusted them down a notch or up a notch or whatever but as they come into this workstation they are mostly at the wrong level if I was to get something that was exceptionally quiet and needed raising a lot and I only had this at zero i could only raise it by another 10 db though but if i gain stage it so that it's at an acceptable level already that extra 10 db that i could possibly lift it by might not have to use or i might only need a little bit of it the same works the other way reducing volume so it saves things in the long run but another main proponent of it and why it's used is because this has all been passed over from the analog world where a signal was at a certain level when it went when it was recorded and to boost that signal you'd need an amplifier there was no way of just turning it up things weren't digital so setting your levels on everything gain staging reduced signal hum it reduced um, the buzz you get from electronics being near each other. All those kind of things, every time a sound was processed in the analog world, something was added to it, whether it be um, on purpose or not. So that's why gain staging was important, but it still remains important today just for ease of use, uh, for simplifying things and for having enough movement on that fader to where you can be dynamic in the mix and you can do things like move the faders up and down as, as things are rolling in uh, little smooth transitions you can make your mix really dynamic and flow add energy in certain parts of it that's gain staging thanks for watching this part we'll be back with you in the next part which is going to be mixing the drums see you then <laughs>